Hi everyone, so tonight I'm going to be doing another Happy Chats video. It's actually so late, it's almost 10 o'clock and fortunately enough I have a white light bulb in my room so I just took off the cover and now that's my lighting so I hope it's not completely crap. But yeah, so let's just get started. I have no idea what I'm going to do but I'm just playing with my makeup right now. I may as well start off with primer I guess. I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional just where my, actually let's pin our hair back, shall we? Ugh. Okay. Using Benefit Pore Professional, I'm just going to apply that to where my pores are most prominent. So rubbing it between my fingers and then I kind of just distribute it where I need it the most. I really like the Pore Professional. I wouldn't use it all over my face only because I don't need it. So I don't want to waste product all over my face. So on my cheeks I like to use something less pore correcting or whatever because I don't really need it there. So I'm going to be using my Illamasqua Satin Primer. I really, really like this. I picked it up on sale. And the funniest thing is I, I filmed it in my whole video, but the footage got lost, so I don't know what happened there. But I'm just going to rub it to my cheeks and across my chin. Okay, so for this foundation, I'm using the Bush My Healthy Mix Foundation in shade 51. I have two pumps on my hands, so I'm just going to distribute that around my face. I do think I like doing two layers of this. I was tagged to do the 50 random facts about me tag by my lovely friend here on YouTube. Her name is Jessica Bell or Belly. I'll link her down below. She's super lovely. Um, but like, I'm so stuck on the questions, guys. Like, not the questions, like my 50 random facts. It's like, I think I got up to like 32. Like I write them down and stuff. But like, I honestly can't think of any. Yeah. I just can't think of 50 facts. It's like, oh, oh my god. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in with Time Balm by The Balm. I haven't used this in ages. Right, I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. It's a cream um, concealer. Sorry if the lighting changed. I changed a little setting on my camera, so hopefully the color's better now. Um, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent and I've never used this before so I'm quite interested to see how it's going to turn out. So I'm just going to take it on my powder brush. That's not as powdery as what I was expecting for it to be. As the name suggests, it's really, really mattifying the face. I like it. I'm just going to take my smaller brush and I'm just going to go under my eyes real quick. Oh, I've got a message. You know when you think you're full important and you're like, oh, someone texted me. And it's just a like a notification that someone's invited you to a Facebook game. What? Oh. So depressed. You cannot say you haven't been there before. So far, so good. I'm not too sure what lighting setting I like it on better, this one or the one just before. But either way, I'm going to go into my brows now with what else but my Illamasqua Brow Cakes in Motto and Thunder. I've just recently started putting Thunder into like my everyday brow. And I really like it more, to be honest. I wish they made a shade that was in between. It's like a cooler toned brown. My brows look so intense in this lighting. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they get more proportional once I kind of do my eye makeup. I'm going to put on some eye primer. This one is the CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blush. Shade 800. It's the beigey colored one. Just applying that too much Just as a base. Just on the lid. You don't want to have like shimmer all the way up to the brow bone. Well, you can if you want. Whatever. Just because I really don't think it's just my eye shape. Like I know some girls, they do it so well. But for me, it just doesn't suit my eye shape at all. Okay, so now that base is on, I'm just going to move on to eyeshadows. I think I'm going to be using my Naked 2 today. I think I've neglected this for a while, to be honest. I'm just going to take shade Tease. But anyway, I'm going to put this through my crease. I might put it on my lid as well. I've been really liking putting my crease color on my lid as well as a base color. So from my lid up through to my crease, just make sure you blend out. I think if you do this whole process on a fluffy brush, it's a lot easier. I know what I want to do. I want to grab my NYX eyeliner in the shade white and I'm going to put this straight underneath my eyebrow. I'm just going to do the other side. So I put it to there and then I kind of just blend it out. That's just going to act as like a white base for my highlight shade. Because I am so pale it's really really hard to find a highlight shade that's going to show up on my skin. I've really been loving this flat brush by Coastal Scents to apply my highlighter and today I'm going to be using the shade Foxy. Just having that white base there just makes everything stand out just that little bit more on my fair skin. Um, it's kind of the same concept as like the Benefit Gimme Brow and that NYX one. Same kind of concept, it's just what I have at home basically. I'm just going to take my flat shader brush and I'm going to go into the shade YDK. I'm just going to apply that all over the first third of my lid. I 
Now I'm going to be taking the colour Snake Bite, which is this shade here, and on the same flat brush, I'm just going to put that on the outer half. Now I'm really quickly just going to blend it all out using a clean blending brush. Now I'm quickly going to take this small little brush and I'm going to take the shade Tease and I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line. I always like using a matte base first. Um, I feel like it's just a lot more appealing and then adding like a shimmery shade afterwards. I don't know why, I've been really into doing that lately. On another flat shader brush, I'm just going to be taking Verve, which is this shade here, and I'm just going to put that on my inner third. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Busted, which is this shade here, and I'm just going to put that along the outer third of my lower lash line. Just tapping off any excess that you may have, and even patting off a little bit onto your hand, just so it's not super, super intense. And that's just going to go on the outer third. Now I'm also just going to pack that on the outer V. Now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner pencil, this one is just by L'Oreal, and I'm just going to put this along my lower and upper lash line. So really just smudging it into your lashes. Really quickly, because I know I'll have to, I'm gonna prepare my fake eyelashes. I just love fake eyelashes on camera. They just look so much nicer than my real lashes on camera. Just applying my Duo Lash Glue. I'm just going to really quickly run a black eyeliner through my lower waterline. This one's by L'Oreal, by the way. Now I'm just going to contour with my Illamasqua blusher in the shade Disobey on a small contour brush. And I'm just gonna apply that to the hollows of my cheek. Now for my bronzer, I'm using a Steeler one in the shade 02. So I'm just going to apply this to the backs of my cheeks. I'm not going to put this too far onto the apples. It's mainly going to be focused on the backs. It's not that intense in real life, I promise. I think I want to use a blush. So I'm going to be using the closest blush to me, which is Illamasqua's Tremble. It looks like this. And I'm just going to dust that to the apples of my cheeks and then bring it back. Make sure you dust off all the excess with these Illamasqua blushes, they are so pigmented. Okay, Steeler Kitten Highlighter. I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, just going to use both shades. Quickly going to apply some mascara to my eyelashes. I don't think I even told you guys what this mascara is. It's the Lash Architect 4D Volume by L'Oreal. I really want to put on this Milani Rose Hip shade. Now I'm just going to apply my fake eyelashes. Okay guys, so I think I am done. I really, really enjoy how it came out. Yeah, I really, really like the lip color more than what I thought I would um, with this eye makeup especially. So yeah, tell me what you guys think and if you like it all. If you hate it, hopefully you like it. But yeah, so without rambling on for too much longer, I'll see you next time. Bye.